Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick review of Lothberg's Columbia Ground Coffee. I found this one in Home and Bargain for £3.49 which seems a decent price for a 450 gram bag. I know they do quite a lot of um, Lothberg's coffees in Tesco's but I haven't seen this actual coffee in Tesco. So for some reason it's en ended up in Home and Bargain at a sort of reduced price so I thought it was well worth picking a bag up so let's take a look at the pack <clears throat> says it's a single origin ground coffee sweet and fruity notes of berries and caramel it's a medium roast number three as I say it's a 450 gram bag and they say you'll get uh, around 30 cups out of that the best before date is there, which is the 25th of March 2025. So just under a year on the best before date. And it's also got the produce date on there as well, which was the 2nd of October 2023. So it was made quite a while ago, this coffee. Uh, we'll try and find the description, which... It's probably on the back. It says it's 100% Arabica coffee from Colombia. And uh, yeah, this, this came in a, a brick form coffee, this one. And that's the type of bag that it came in. A clear plastic bag. But yeah, I'm not, not the biggest fan of um, brick type coffees, but we'll see how this one goes. Combining fresh fruitiness and smooth sweetne sweetness, Lothberg's Columbia delivers a, the well-rounded flavour you'd expect from 100% Arabica beans, medium roasted to perfection with exception, exceptional Swedish taste. We source this coffee from Rainforest Alliance certified farms, then roast it with care in our hometown of Karlstad, Sweden. Rainforest Alliance certified so there we go, there's the Columbia profile, roast level is 3 out of 5, acidity, acidity is 4 out of 5 and bitterness is 1 out of 5 and body is 3. Ways to make your coffee there and a little bit about Lothbergs there if anyone wants to pause the video and read. It's also got a seal of approval there from the Royal Court of Sweden contact information there and I think that is it for the pack so let's take a quick look at the ground coffee it is quite coarsely ground this one and it's quite an orangey sort of look to it the aroma well it's quite nice actually it's lively with a nice fruity hint. It's sweet and caramelly and it does smell reasonably fresh and rich. It's hard to find any obvious downsides, but it's maybe a little plasticky, probably from the packaging, which I don't like the brick form coffees, especially in this clear plastic bag, which reminds me a bit of Ikea coffees, which were also Swedish and not great from my recollection. So let's hope this one continues the positivity in the taste anyway. So, taste wise, well, it's very caramelly with an acidic fruity hint there too. It's not perfect though with an earthy cardboardy feel that indicates a medium quality to this coffee. It's medium bodied, edging towards weakish, and the acidity is super high and overpowering. It's the standout aspect of this coffee, and I wouldn't say it's a positive. And when taking the acidity out of the equation, this coffee is quite smooth and a bit bland, if I'm honest. But I'm not going to slate it, as the price of £3.49 for the 450 gram bag is a fair price but anything more would tip me towards giving this one a negative review. So I'll give this one a score of 2.75 out of 5. If you're looking for a cheap coffee 
and have a home and bargains nearby, this may be worth a try. It's not particularly a good example of a Colombian coffee. It's just a decent and cheap um, coffee. But if you expect higher standards, I would uh, decide to give this one a miss. So that was my review. I would really like to hear from anyone who has tried this coffee or any of the other Lothberg coffees. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.